Hello and welcome. So in this video, we are going to demo creating a Windows Server 2022 virtual machine in Azure and joining it to Azure Active Directory domain services. So that part's shown in a diagram. Check out our previous videos in this series discussing the differences between Active Directory on-premises and Azure Active Directory in the Azure cloud as an identity and how to build Azure AD domain services as well. So links are in the description. Okay, so let's get started building our Azure VM. Thanks for watching. Okay, so first of all, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit that notification bell to receive notifications on videos posted weekly. And of course, add any comments below. Thank you. So we need to first check DNS is configured correctly in our virtual network where the virtual machine will be built. Otherwise, we will encounter problems when trying to join the VM to the domain. So if we search for AD, Azure AD domain services and we click the service we have already created, if you don't know how to create Azure AD domain services, then there's a video in the description showing you how. So our domain here is dscloudinspire.com and we use password hash sync through AD Connect and Azure AD as shown in the diagram. This performs a one-way sync of users, groups and credentials from Azure AD to AADDS. So click properties and copy the IP address of our managed domain controllers for DNS. So we now go to our VNet um, where the VM will be built and we can see we have uh, subnets here also. One subnet is where AADDS is installed and the other subnet is our production uh, subnet. So this is where the VM will be built. So go to DNS settings within the virtual network, click custom and enter the DNS addresses of the managed domain copied earlier. OK, so now let's create a Windows Server 2022 virtual machine in Azure. So we go to virtual machines in the Azure portal and we click create. We will choose an existing resource group. In this case, it's called RG1. If you don't have a resource group, you can create a new one here for your VM resource to be created in. Give it a name, choose a region. In our case, it's UK South. Any availability options. The image type is Windows Server 2022 Data Center Azure Edition Gen 2. The Azure Edition gives features such as Azure Extended Network, so that lets you stretch an on-premise subnet into Azure to let on-premise virtual machines keep their original on-premises uh, private IP addresses when migrating to Azure. And also hot patching as well, which is a new way to install updates on uh, supported uh, Windows Server Azure Edition VMs. It, it doesn't require a reboot after installation. So let's select the size of the VM. So for this demo, we will go for a D2 AS v4 with two cpu and eight gig of ram so please be aware you will be charged for any vm you select based upon a monthly cost so check with a bill payer before creating the vm to avoid any unexpected uh, charge surprises of course we can reduce this amount by shutting the vm down when it's not needed to save on compute costs again check a video out in the channel to script automatic shutdown and start up a vm to so type a local admin username and password so we can rdp to the vm later on and for this demo example we'll open up rdp ports 3389 to the whole internet so this isn't recommended for security reasons and you should always lock this down to ip address so it's not exposed to the whole internet. Click next, happy with the disks, so click next. And for the networking, you should see that our AADDS subnet is selected by default. We don't really want to install the VM uh, in this subnet where our AADDS is installed. So we want to keep that separated. So we will choose our production subnet instead. We will choose a basic security group for the demo, clicking next. So we're happy with management, advanced and tags for the demo. You can see an estimated cost per hour on running this VM. So if you're happy with the being billed that amount, click create to create the virtual machine.
Okay, so now let's RDP to the VM we have just created. So we enter the public IP in remote desktop and click connect. We enter the local admin username and password. So we're now logged into the VM and in the next section we will see if our DNS settings are correct for domain join. So let's check our DNS settings in Windows Server. So if we go to a command prompt and then we typed ipconfig slash all. So these should be the domain controller's IP address to enable us to join the virtual machine to the domain. So if this isn't correct, go back to the beginning of the video that covers checking AADDS DNS in the virtual network. So these look correct and match AADDS IPs. OK, good. So now let's join this Windows 2022 server to the domain. So if we go to System, we go to Advanced System Settings, click Computer Name, click Change, and then click Domain. Enter the AADDS Managed Domain Name. So in this case, it's dscloudinspired.com, taken from AADDS. So we will be prompted for an, an account with permissions to join a domain. So let's enter our on-premise domain admin account that's synced from on-premise AD to Azure AD. Now you can see that the VM has successfully joined the domain and will now reboot. OK, so when we try and log into the domain with an Azure AD account, we get the following error message. OK, so this is because our Azure AD account isn't in the correct group yet. So when we log in locally again to the VM and go to Computer Management, Local Users and Groups, Groups and Administrators Group, we can see we have an AADDC Administrators Group there in Azure AD. So this administrative group is named AADDC Administrators and it's used for management of the um, Azure ADDS domain. So members of this group are granted administrative permissions on VMs that are domain joined to the managed domain. On domain joined VMs, this group is added to the local administrators group. So we can go to Azure AD and find that administrators group and then we can add our user to that group. So when we attempt to log in again with our Azure AD account, it's now a member of the correct group and allows login. So as you can see, this VM is now a member of our AADDS domain, dscloudinspired.com. OK, so if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell and add any comments below. I hope you've enjoyed the video, so see you all soon. Thank you.